I am in reading slump. Hello, it's editing Erica here from the future to let you know this video took three months, a hurricane, a week-long power outage, and a very turbulent experience to finally get this video out. So just sit back and enjoy the ride because it is definitely a long one. It is June 16th, but I have not read a book since... Okay, like June 1st, but hold on, hold on, let me explain, let me explain. It's not one of those book slumps where I haven't been reading anything at all. Like, I've been trying to read, I've been forcing myself to get through at least a couple books, but the thing is, all the books I have been reading, I have not been enjoying. Like, it's a chore. I have to physically sit myself down, I have to work if I actually want to read these books, and... It really sucks because I love reading, I love loving to read, right? It's kind of my only hobby, especially now that I have a YouTube channel, but I just, I figured if I'm in a reading slump anyways, might as well make a video out of it. I don't know how long this is going to take to get out of the reading slump, but we are going to document it all and see where it takes us. So I feel the first thing I like to do usually to get out of reading slump is just to read a book I know I will like. I just, I got on TikTok, I scrolled for hours it feels like, and I just watching all these videos like my favorite books of 2024 so far, and I think I found a book I could like. It got me excited when I heard about it and I was like, ooh, okay, I'm really excited to read this. So first thing I did, I ordered that bad boy and... It is here. It is She Who Became the Sun. It was marketed to me as Mulan x The Song of Achilles. And like, hello? That sounds perfect. Chef's kiss. So, I learned about this app through Sarah Caroli. And it is called... I actually forgot. Why am I not more prepared for this video? It is called Flora. And basically, you give yourself a time. Like, how much you want to do something. In this case, reading. So... Say I want to try and read for 15 minutes straight. Then I will set the focus timer for 15 minutes. Then once it's started, if I go on my phone, the plant will like stop growing, something like that. We'll see how it works as I continue through this video, but I feel like that will be good because I always get so distracted by my phone and it's really, really bad. So my goal is you're going to get at least 30 pages into this, okay? That's my goal for today. Basically, other than that, this video has no structure. I'm just going to be reading books or reading until I feel that I am out of my reading slump. And you will be here for the journey. So yeah, sorry about this super long intro, but had lots of things to cover. But yeah, let's hopefully get into She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. killed my tree already I left the app for one second to like go on Instagram okay okay I need to actually read I need to actually read I definitely just killed a tree. No, okay, I read one, two, three, three pages. I found myself doing exactly what I was doing without even realizing it. So I was just reading this book and then I was like, oh, wait a second, let me go check something. So at the first point I could, when there was like a little break in the lines, I put it down. I was like, okay, just, just real quick, real quick. And then I ended up on YouTube and then I got the alert Oh, you just killed your tree. And I was like, oh. So, first attempt failed. I think I read for like five minutes. Okay, take two. I am lowering it to 10 minutes. Start, 10 minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, 
Oh my gosh, this book is so good. And guess what? I got to chapter two, which is exactly page 30, which is like, oh my gosh, it fits everything I wanted to do as a goal today, which is perfect. So, oh my gosh, let me tell you a bit about this book because I'm so excited to read it. This book is set in China in 1345 right now. It lies under like the harsh Mongol rule. But basically, everyone's starving. It's a really bad situation. It did get kind of dark in a lot of points in this first chapter so i think it'll probably continue to get darker so i guess just check the trigger warnings the three characters that were introduced in the first chapter there's a dad a son and a daughter and we were following the daughter but basically the son was destined for greatness and the daughter was destined for nothing but basically something happens and the son ends up dying and that is told in the synopsis of this book so that is not a spoiler but basically the daughter is who the daughter who is never named by the way that was such a cool aspect takes his role and is determined to be great and escape her suffering and all that which oh my god i'm so excited too because now she is pretending to be her brother who was named I, I just find it so cool that she was never named she was always referenced as the girl and like that is like mm, that is such a good detail but anyways if you can't tell i am really enjoying this book I am going to keep reading it, but it is dinner time now, so I'm going to pause and hopefully I come back to it. That's the thing, because even if I am enjoying a book, it's like if I put it down, I will never pick it back up. So I am determined I will pick it back up. It will happen, I promise, I promise. But yeah, I will see you then. So, it is the next day, but fear not because <laughs> I was able to read 94 pages yesterday and i got to chapter six of this book which i am very very proud of because i read that like last because i think i ended off filming on page like 40 or so so i was or was it 30 yeah it might have been 30 so i was able to read 64 pages in one sitting like hello i don't think <laughs> i have not done that in forever and that is just a testament to how good this book is. I'm not in love love with the book yet, like I'm not dying to read it, but I feel like it could potentially get there, which is such a good feeling. My goal was initially to get chapter 12, so just like double my chapter count that I'm at currently, but we'll see, we'll see. That's all for the update right now. I'm going to go and then I'll come back later to hopefully continue reading this book and finally get out of this reading slump. So yeah, see you then. Not just leave me at like that cliffhanger I just got to part three I think it's the final part so I have like 90 pages left to go and trust I'll be doing my best to finish this tomorrow because I mean so far it's definitely been good but it has been a lot of build-up I mean it's necessary and it's still good it's like well written it's entertaining still but I feel we just reached a turning point in the book that could signal the start of a lot of action and like way more drama and and I am finally there so I'm definitely very nervous but the fact that I am nervous and scared and like my heart was racing reading that last chapter is such a good sign because that means I'm finally feeling emotions while I'm reading again which is basically all I wanted, so I'm so so glad. It is supposed to rain a lot tomorrow and the area I live in has a really bad habit of losing power every time it rains, even if it's like the smallest amount of rain, so 
we'll see. That could be good for reading, but also, I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. Hopefully power doesn't go out, but yeah. I am going to go to sleep, so I'm going to pause right here, but trust, I really want to keep reading, so I'm so, so glad about that, but yeah, that's all I got to say for now, so I will see you tomorrow. expect that honestly hmm interesting interesting okay i finished it okay you're gonna have to wait for my thoughts until tomorrow which is in like two seconds for you but this was very good it is yet again the next day and i am back for my final thoughts on she who became the sun i think i'm gonna give this book a 4.5 out of 5 it, the only thing that's like not making it a five is just the pacing probably like it was a bit off like i feel like we had lots of stretches of time where nothing was happening but then all of a sudden everything would be happening but then also like a lot of times there was a lot happening but it was over in like a couple sentences but like oh my gosh i'm not making any sense but basically they would just kind of detail what happened like oh yeah so this city burned down and then we went over here and i'm like oh I thought that was going to be a main plot point. I still really did enjoy the slow moments. I feel like in fantasy books, I love the politics. I love the behind the scenes of the battle, like the strategy, the thinking, the plotting going into the fights. And that was exactly what this book delivered upon. And I ate it up. Oh my gosh. But yeah, overall, I'm really glad I decided to pick this as the book to try and get me out of my slump because it definitely worked, at least for this book. However, I am worried now that I have read this that I won't want to pick up other books, which is obviously not a good idea, but that's why we're going to read one more book in this video to officially say I am out of my reading slump. And originally, I was going to pick a book that was a different genre than the book I just read. However, I do feel like I don't want to read anything else other than the second book in the series, so I feel like I just gotta go for it. I gotta read he who drowned the world because you know i just i have to i have to i did read like 45 ish pages of it last night after i finished this book because that's how excited i was going into it but now it's like 6 p.m and i kind of don't want to read this but also i have been giving myself the goal of reading 100 pages each day so we'll see if that happens uh yeah <laughs> But anyways, I'll get back to you whenever I have any more thoughts on this book or my reading slump as a whole. Hello, I am back. You are probably like, what do you mean, back? It's been like two seconds. Well, let me just, let me just give you some information, okay? So, when I finished, what was it called? See, it's been that long, I forgot. When I finished She Who Became the Sun, it was June 19th. And right now, it is <laughs> July 8th. So yeah, I haven't read in almost three weeks now. But I just genuinely have not had any urge to read at all. But if you're wondering, why are you coming back now on this random July 8th or 9th, whatever day it is? Did you randomly get the urge to read again? Well, no. But as you can see, it's pretty dark in here. And that is because my power is out. Yeah. So a hurricane, a hurricane just rolled through here, only category one, thankfully, but that means the power has been out since 5.30 a.m. and it is currently 2.41 p.m. and I've gotten tired of doing nothing. So here I am, 
I'm gonna read. I really don't want to read, but it's gonna happen because I need something. I need something. But I will not be reading He Who Drowned the World because let me tell you, I have read this much since we last talked. I'm on page 151, but books like the they just make the passage of time so evident in how slow it is that like I don't want to read this. I don't think that makes sense to you, but it makes sense to me. So we're not gonna read a fantasy book like this. But yeah, very much still in this reading slump. But yeah, let's just let's just take a look at what books we could possibly read. Oh my gosh, look at my dog. He's so cutie. So I came back with three books. I definitely thought I had more options, but here we are. So we have Summer Broken Rules, better than the movies. I mean, I've heard such great reviews about this one. And then Love Theoretically. <sighs> I don't know. What do I do? I really don't want to read any of these right now. Hello, it is later. It is 4.38 p.m. now, and I did pick a book. I chose Love Theoretically, and I've been reading since like 3 o'clock, and I'm on page 103. Oh my gosh. These 100 pages have been actually painful. It's not that the book is bad. It's just Every single second I sit here staring at this page, like, the more I go insane. I will probably keep reading, and I probably won't be happy about it, but I'm gonna go back to doing something else, and I'll talk to you later. Hello, it's later again, um, 9.18 p.m., and I am... 50% through the book, but I just kind of like sat back down to read again because I went out and let me tell you I I know I was complaining about there not being any power and I was mainly just like oh my gosh I need TikTok. I need TikTok. But man, I went out and I saw the damage this storm actually caused and I just want to say like I in particular got so lucky with the storm so kind of made me rethink all the things I was saying like oh, I just want TikTok why is there no power because in reality like there could be a tree on my house right now and I could have no home so I just want to say briefly that I am very grateful for all my accommodations and I feel extremely lucky that I get to just sit here and read so I want to say that I am very lucky in that regard but yeah that's all I got to say about that I just feel I had to say something right but let me show you the setup so as you can see it's pretty dark in here but over there I got, <laughs> I got my lantern and then obviously I've been reading I need to be able to see so I've been like sitting like this but it's pretty dark right so then I take my phone flashlight I go like this oh hello I go like that and then I sit back and I read it's, it's a pretty good setup but I did kind of want to finish this book today just because I'm like 22 books behind, <laughs> behind schedule and I was like okay this power outage is kind of perfect to do that but I fear tomorrow I will be waking up at 5 a.m. and as soon as I can I am going <laughs> away from this house okay I feel like this video has kind of just turned into like hurricane aftermath but in terms of the book, you know, I guess the actual reason you're here for this video, it is good, like I said, it's good. I still don't necessarily want to read it, but I'm not like complaining either, but it's kind of funny just to laugh at how like millennial it feels. But anyways, I'm 50% through, I'm on page 197, I have like a little less than 200 pages left, so yeah, definitely not finishing it today, but... I was just able to kind of like sit down and read about 80 pages in one sitting so I feel like that's pretty good but I also did say that for she who became the sun and that definitely did not get me out of reading slump so we'll see we'll see but yeah I'll probably read one more chapter just to get to page 200 you know even numbers even numbers and then I'm gonna go to bed I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m. and I'm gonna get to some place with Wi-Fi. This is not the last you will see me. So yeah, I will see you then.
Hello. I am definitely filming on my phone camera, so the quality is different. That's why. And I also cannot be too loud, but here's the situation. I've gotten to a place with electricity and air conditioning, and I've just been reading Mary Jane. I finished Love Theoretically this morning, and I gave it like a three stars. It was like, I mean, it was a romance book. I mean, it was good, but I can't give it a five stars, you know? So, three stars, it was fine, meh. I'd recommend it, sure. But now we have Mary Jane. And let me tell you, I have been really, really loving this book. I am this much through on chapter 10, page 195. It's about this 14 year old named Mary Jane who is like the nanny for this family over the summer who is basically just has complete opposite views as her family. And it's just ugh, so good. It's set in 1975. It's just. It's a really great coming of age story and I am like enjoying it so, so much. But it is taking me a bit longer to read. But let me tell you, even though I have electricity and Wi-Fi, I have not been on TikTok. I have not been on YouTube. I've just been reading and it's great. I mean, I'm enjoying it. It's... However, I only, after this, I only brought one more book and I don't know how I'm gonna be here, but we'll see. We'll see, and I forgot my Kindle, so. But yeah, just the update for right now. I'm reading Mary Jane. The goal is to finish it today, but who knows if that's gonna happen. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep reading this, and I'll update you later. So yes, as you can see, there's been a change of scenery and I am once again back at my house with the power on because a month may or may not have passed by and it is now August 7th. Um, last time I recorded was July 9th, but honestly I have not even looked at the camera or a book in over a month. So this is why we're back again. But basically, I don't even know what I said in my last update. I know I was reading Mary Jane, but I wasn't finished with it. But let me just, I guess, give you the rundown. So I finished Mary Jane that day. It was July 9th. And then I picked up another book because I was on a roll. Convenience Store Woman. Um, oh, by the way, I gave Mary Jane a five stars. I'm really not gonna go into depth about that because it's been a long time since I read it. But anyways, it was a really good book. And then Convenience Store Woman, I read that the same day and it was pretty short, so I also finished it that day and that was a four stars. I really liked it. It was just a little bit odd. And then I read another book and you're probably like, oh my gosh, you were so out of your reading slump. You know, I thought so too. It, it didn't happen, by the way. And then I read, everyone in this room will someday be dead. And I was on a roll to finish it that same day, July 9th. But then I stopped reading it and then it kind of took me like five days to finish it. So then I finished it on July 14th. And then I did not look at another book until today. I was officially in a reading slump my whole summer and I read six books. When I definitely thought I would read at least like 40 but we're not gonna talk about that. Actually, we are gonna talk about that because that's the whole premise of this video. But anyways, I think a few days ago, I officially felt the urge, like wanting to read, because if you're wondering how I've spent this month apart from books, I have been watching Game of Thrones and I'm only on season five, episode five, something like that, but I, did really feel the urge to pick up a Game of Thrones and start reading this series. So I just ordered this off of Amazon, it's totally upside down, but this is the first book I've ordered in so long and I do kind of feel excited to read it. So I think I'm gonna start reading this, I'm gonna change out of these clothes, get into something comfortable, and then I'm gonna start reading this bad boy. Um, absolutely 100% no promises that I'm gonna finish it. I'll probably make this clip and then pick up the camera in another month 
but I'll do my best. At this point, I'm not pressuring myself to read or record videos, so that's at least some improvement. But yeah, I will hopefully see you soon when I start this book, but if not, it was nice knowing you. So, it's been a couple days since that last clip, and well, we are back again. Um, I kind of read like two of the first chapter, which is like page 10. 11. Gosh, get it right. Um, but yeah, I kind of realized that I did want to read it, but then for some reason reading those 10 pages made me not want to read it, so I didn't read it, but I think you'll be proud of me because yesterday evening I was like, hmm, I really just want to read a book. So I picked a random book on my shelf, I opened it up, and then one moment. Hello? Oh, it's upside down. That's why. Okay. And then, in one sitting, I read 111 pages of... of... <sighs> I can't do this anymore. Of an education in malice. Anyways, so I read a book. I read 111 pages. Well, not a book, but I read part of a book, and I'm proud of that. But now for some reason, now that I've started reading a book, I kind of want to read every single book that has ever existed in the entire universe. So now in a way, I feel even more intimidated to read because I'm like, well, I'm never gonna be able to read every single book that's ever existed. But I did go to Barnes & Noble today and I got two books. I got The Adult by Alison Espach and Lolita because it was actually referenced in An Education and Malice, and I wanted to read it, so I got it. So now I want to read both of these, and this, and eventually I do want to read Game of Thrones. I am determined to actually, like, finish a book though, so I'm about to, like, try to sit down and read at least a hundred more pages of this, which yesterday it was pretty easy to do. One of us was always going to bleed for the other. So the main character is Laura and Carmilla. And they're like enemies, but they're gonna turn into lovers, you know? You know. But it's like darker, I guess. There's like some magic going on. Like, I'm sure there's gonna be more magic. But there's like some elements. An Education in Malice is a delicious, dark academia tale of blood, secrets, and insatiable hungers. But I like it a lot so far because I love like books where characters are learning because it always makes it like reignites my desire to learn like everything in the whole entire world but I love smart characters I love reading about them and so far this has been pretty good however we are like 30% in and not much has happened but I guess we are just like building up everything anyways I'm gonna read this and I'll be back chapter 12 seeing the first bits of I guess what the potential conflict could be which is cool because I was kind of wondering I was like everything seems a little too good right now but we're definitely getting some suspicion brewing and I think one of the characters is about to learn something so that could be interesting but yeah I'm gonna get back to you when I've read more and have more updates think of this till I was reading the last couple of chapters but I realized it's very Wattpad like very like the author kind of just put the tropes she liked into this book and then like tried to mix them into one and the characters are very Wattpad I feel like you only get that if you've been on Wattpad before, but like, it's not necessarily in the worst way possible, but one character in particular, she is just... 
it was really easy to read, I will say, and I did like enjoy my time. I did not enjoy it. I did have to skip a few scenes because they were like super cringy and one was just so embarrassing that I could die. So I had to skip that. But other than that, it wasn't bad and I did read it in three days, which is a record for me. It's not a record for me. I don't know why I said that, but it feels like a record because I haven't read a book in so long, if that makes sense. But I did finish it, which makes this the first book I've read in a super duper long time. And now at least if I don't read any other books this month, I can say I at least read one book in August. Also, bro, the entire plot of this book took place within a few months. And that, that feels kind of crazy to me, but um, <laughs> if you don't mind about that, if you like the fall, autumn-y, New England type setting mixed with like academia, kinda, poetry, and I don't know, drama, romance, rivalry, enemies to lovers, I, if I dare to say, then this book is for you. You could like it. If you like vampires, I would give it a go. I won't not recommend it, but I won't necessarily recommend it either. I don't know. It was kind of just like meh. So I'm probably going to end up giving it like a three stars, but I do appreciate it because I was able to read it and it was a quick read. But I am about to pick up a book that is absolutely the opposite of that because for some reason I want to read it. And that is Lolita. But this is a classic, everyone knows the title, so I feel like I just got to, you know? I want to be in on the lore. Lolita, or The Confession of a White Widowed Male. Ah. Oh, that's cool. I think what this means is that the book almost had a different title, so it was either going to be called Lolita or The Confession of a White Widowed Male which kind of gives you more insight onto this book, you know? Anyways, I just wanted to say that I finished a book and I'm going to eventually begin this. And I don't feel too hesitant to start it either. Like, I don't feel like I don't want to read it, which is a good sign. However, I did feel that way after I finished She Who Became the Sun with like the sequel to that book. I wanted to read it at first, but then I stopped. I DNF'd it, so hopefully that doesn't happen to this. So yeah, I think it's looking good, but I don't want to get our hopes up because I feel like I've said that like 300 times in this video. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say for now and I'll update you whenever I hopefully get into Lolita or another book. But yeah, I'll see you then. <laughs> Another update, I honestly don't know how many days later it is again, but I do have some progress. So I am on page 200 of Lolita. I think I'm like 65% through maybe, but I have rediscovered the joys of audiobooks. So I found this one on Spotify for free. So every morning while I get ready, I've been listening to a little bit, and then at night, if I have time, I like sit down and read it, which is good. I mean, the book's not bad. I mean, it's really not bad. I like the writing. The story's interesting. Definitely a bit, well, it's Lolita, so you know how it is if you know how it is. Once again, not going to talk much about that, but I have been reading and I have been wanting to read because... Other than Lolita, let me tell you, because I do need some fun in my reading. So, on my Kindle, I have been rereading the Cradle series since I have all those books and I have all those audiobooks. It's like 14 books long, but I absolutely loved that series last summer, which is when I read it. And with Cradle, I'm on page 260 of 321 which is 83% through, and on the audiobook, it says I only have an hour and 13 minutes left of it, so honestly, 
I definitely want to try to finish that tonight because it's just really good and I love reading it. It's just like Cradle, I don't think I ever talked about it on this channel. Well, obviously not. It was before I started my YouTube channel, but those books for some reason are pure candy. Like. I feel like I say that a lot, but genuinely with these books, I could picture them so well that it was literally just like watching a series, like a show. So I'm gonna try to finish this tonight. Tomorrow, I'll probably get another like 20% through Lolita. And then the goal is to finish it on Friday. Today is Wednesday. And then I feel like once I finish these two books, I feel like I can officially say I am out of my reading slump, at least hopefully, because I know at least after Cradle, I want to continue rereading that series, but then other than Lolita, I think I probably want to read, I've been wanting to read, what's it called? The Dragon one, oh my gosh, Throne, Flame, Iron Flame, Fourth Wing, there we go. I've been wanting to read that for forever so maybe i'll make a reading vlog out of just fourth wing and iron flame since i know those are like huge books so if you want that let me know i'm gonna get back to reading not lolita i'm gonna start cradle and i'm gonna listen to that while i do other things but yeah i will see you later for more updates okay hi it's me hours later again but i just finished cradle and I cannot wait to start the second one, Soul Smith. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I rate Cradle, I don't even know if I can rate it because I've already like read it, but the first time I read it, I rated it, I rated it a four stars, but like overall the series is a five star. So it's kind of just like, you know, ups and downs. But this next one, I remember I gave a five star, so I'm super excited for Soul Smith and begin okay hello once again i think i have forgotten how to be a youtuber because i finished lolita two weeks ago and two other books almost three now and i have not talked to the camera one time i keep thinking like okay yeah i'm gonna edit this video and then record the outro and stuff like that and then i'll get it up like tomorrow and i keep saying that every single day but I never do. <laughs> but anyways, I am finally here now, so that's all that matters. But yes, I did finish Lolita, and I finished Cradle, I already said that, and Soul Smith, and then the third book in that series called Black Flame, and now I'm almost done with the fourth book in that series called Sky Sworn, maybe? Yeah, Sky Sworn. I have about an hour left of the audiobook. But yeah, for Lolita, since I'll just talk about this book since that was the one I was reading most prominently. For some reason, this book, I have no thoughts about it. Like genuinely, I've never not had a rating for a book. Like even some books which I choose not to rate, like memoirs. Usually I, I have a rating in the back of my head even though I don't actually rate it on like Goodreads or say what my rating is. But for Lolita, I genuinely have no thoughts. Which I guess would make it like a three stars, like mid, but I just have no idea what to even say about it. I mean, I enjoyed my time reading it, to be honest. Like, it was a good reading experience, but I don't know what to think about the book. Not sure if that makes sense, but yeah, it was... It just was. That's all I gotta say. But yeah. I definitely think I can say I'm out of my reading slump and that's kind of crazy to say because I started this video three months ago, which is kind of crazy. That's a quarter of a year if you think about it and that means I've also not posted a video in a quarter of a year, which is so bad. I really feel bad about that, but during this whole process, I definitely think if I've learned anything, it's that I really need to make sure I'm not making reading into a chore or thing that needs to be done. Because while I don't think I was necessarily doing that, I definitely had, like, in the back of my mind, these goals I had set for myself to, like, prove myself as a reader, which 
doesn't even make sense. Everybody's different reader and it's not about comparing yourself to others. I was definitely like, okay, I have to read at least like 10 books a month and I was. And that's kind of crazy, at least for me. Like 10 books a month, I, I don't do that, okay? <laughs> I usually take my time with books. Um, so that was definitely a lot for me. And I think while I was like enjoying those books, definitely towards the end, with the need to like get through them as quick as possible, I started losing interest and that got me into this really bad cycle of three months of not enjoying reading. And I don't want that to ever happen again, so I'm just going to really focus on taking my time with books and actually making sure I enjoy them. I'll be patient with myself and I hope everyone, as in my viewers, if you're still watching this, will be patient with me as well because I want to make the best quality content possible and I want you to like that content. But to do that, it's gonna take more time because I'm not trying to just read books like that, you know, just to get a video out. So I'm just gonna be more purposeful overall with my reading and with the videos I make. So definitely comment down any video ideas you would like to see from me in the future and I will definitely take that into account. I always appreciate your ideas, your thoughts, your feedbacks, your comments, anything. I love talking to you. If you've made it this far in the video, you're a real one. Thank you so much. I got a comment the other day that was like, when are you going to start posting again? And I was like, ah. that made me feel really happy. So I was like, I have a video in the works and I do. So let me get that out for you. But yeah, overall, if you are ever in a reading slump, just take solace in the fact that this happens to everyone so don't feel bad about reading like no books a month oh my gosh don't even feel bad about reading like just don't listen to anyone else's ideas about what reading should be and you probably will be a lot happier with your reading which is definitely what i have noticed but yeah thank you so so much for watching this i feel like this youtube channel is kind of one of the main reasons that motivated me to get back into reading although i still like love reading just as my own person does that make sense who knows couldn't have done it without you thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content in the future that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye everyone oh my gosh that's the first time i've said that in so long bye bye